oil-rich Russia is the sixth world's top renewable energy exporter and generator. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Well, a lot of that comes from hydroelectricity. And if you take that out of the equation, Russia suddenly falls back and slips back into 56th place. Wind energy only makes up a tiny bit of the mix. And uh, there are no huge wind energy projects or parks in Russia, uh, which is a reason why I'd like to bring in Yevgeny Nikolayev. He's the sole wind energy entrepreneur in Russia. Can you tell me why or how that's even possible? That's uh, probably I got lucky. That's uh, started uh, 2013. Uh, Russia started supporting uh, all new renewables apart from big hydro, like small hydro, like wind and uh, solar. So it happened so that I am behind the wind. And it sounds like you want to make a difference some way uh, as far as the environment goes. But it doesn't sound like you're going to make a buck out of this project. Oh, it depends. Uh, I would say the opportunity is pretty big. Country is huge in landmass. And also we have a lot of places where we can put wind turbines in order to harness wind. So my estimation that uh, market is around six billion dollar potential. And it's something that's up against oil and uh, something that I guess you're going to struggle with as far as getting government support. Is that why you're here in Davos? I would say there is government support for renewables already. So um, it won't be for Russia at this point, probably a main cause, but it's a side dish. And uh, always when once you start and the road of thousand miles starts with first steps. So we see that already we have a government support in, in terms of renewables for manufacturing. And uh, that's creating new jobs in that area, is what the Russian government looks for. So I believe uh, we have it, what we need for the time being. The money aside, is there a personal side to your story, a personal story that you can tell us that got you into this career in the first place? I mean, someone doesn't just wake up and decide to build a wind farm. Correct. Uh, the situation is that um, two years ago, almost three now, uh, I had to watch um, a film called, uh, called The Inconvenient Truth by El Gore. That's an Oscar-winning film uh, from 2006. If you didn't watch it, I'd just ask you to. So it happened so that I watched it several times, and the one, of them, uh, one of those times I watched it with my daughter. Uh, at the time, she was five years old. Uh, her name is Arina. And uh, when uh, the film reached the point when it said about that by 21,000 or 2100, uh, half uh, of the species will not exist anymore, uh, she became really, really worried. And uh, that's how I became a climate activist. And at the same time, in order to solve this issue and uh, this kind of crisis, this situation, we have an opportunity to build more renewable possible. Yevgeny, thank you very much for being with us today. Very interesting story and good luck with Davos and with your project back in Russia, thank of course. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Well, using technology to combat climate change, that's certainly a big topic here in Davos. Also, robots that think for themselves, as I uh, mentioned to you before, that uh, amazing computer program, and uh, also rats that can play computer games. I'm definitely going to have to get along to that session today. The 47th World Economic Forum is full of surprises, Terry.